Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little cowl here. It's very, very pretty. I really, really like it. Um, I'm not much of a cowl person, but I like to crochet them. They're fun to crochet. So it has a really pretty, very lacy, delicate stitch on it. Now I know that it looks hard. Don't run away. Don't turn me off. You can do it. I know that you can. As long as you know the basic stitches, I'm going to show you how to do it. You can do this. It's actually a lot easier than what it looks. It's very, very pretty. Look at that. So, and I'll, I'll give you the multiple in case you want to make it longer. Of course, you know, that's always an option. Taller, you know, to where it's thicker when, than what it is right now. So, it's kind of bulkier on you. However you want to do it. But I think it turned out nice. It's very pretty. So, you want to go ahead and do it? Let's go ahead and get started on it. All right. So, this is what the stitch looks like up close. It's very very pretty pretty stitch look at that it's got like beads stitches and chains and blocks beautiful beautiful stitch looks hard doesn't it doesn't that look hard it's not though it's not at all i'm gonna show you how to do it don't don't leave because you think it's hard i promise it's not hard it's so pretty this is a great nice lightweight lacy cowl you know it dress up any any outfit for a nice oh that's pretty very pretty stitch very pretty stitch very pretty yarn so let's go ahead and get started on this so my cow measures approximately um i'm gonna say it's probably 13 inches right yeah it's right about 13 inches and then about nine inches tall Alright, for this project, I use Lion Brand Low Tide, which is an 81 acrylic and 19 polyester blend, medium weight number four. You do not have to use this yarn at all. Any medium weight number four will work. Polyester, acrylic, cotton, wool, whatever you have, whatever you choose to use, as long as it's a medium weight number four, it will do just fine. Um, in case you're interested though, the color I have is called Sunset. And there are 306 yards in this skein. So this was a one skein project. Um, this is what I have left. So I'm going to say you're going to need about 250 yards just to be safe of a medium weight number four. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. All right, this stitch is done in a multiple of 10. In case you want to make your uh, cowl uh, bigger than mine. Mine's kind of a tighter to the, well, I guess it's not really tight to the neck, but shorter to the neck. Some people like their cows longer or like a long, longer infinity scarf type thing. But uh, to follow along with me, I went ahead and I chained 80. So once you get your chain of 80 made, you want to follow it down without twisting your chain. We're going to slip stitch into the first chain and that's going to form one large ring. All right, now we are going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to go back right through the spot that we just slip stitched to into and we're going to do a single crochet. Now I'm going to work along my chain and I'm going to be putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way around my big chain. Just like this. So row one, one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until we make it back over here to our starting point. All right, I have made it to the end of round one and you should have a total of 80 stitches. So what we're gonna do now is we're, we're gonna end the round by slip stitching into our first single crochet. Not the chain one we did, but the first single crochet. Just 
just like that. Now we'll start round two. So we're going to start with the chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. And we're going to be working right back in that same place that we just uh, slip stitched into. So this is going to start, this first stitch is going to start the repeat of the row. So what we're going to do into the same stitch here, we're going to work a double V stitch. So what that consists of, right there in that same spot, we're going to work two double crochets. So there's one, and there's two. And then we're going to work a chain two, and then we're going to go back in the same spot, and we're going to work two more doubles. So that is how we work a double V stitch in this pattern. Two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Just like that. And now we are going to work a chain of three. One, two, three. And we're going to skip four stitches. So we want to skip four. One, two, three, four. And then the next one, we're going to single crochet. Like that. And then we're going to chain three again. One, two, three. We're going to skip four stitches again. Skip, 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 skip. And in the next one, we're going to do a double V stitch. So we're going to go into the next one. And we're going to work two doubles. Chain of two. And two more doubles. Just like that. And repeating. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip four. One, two, three, four. Single into the next. Chain three. Skip four. One, two, three, four. Double V into the next. So two doubles. Chain of two, two more doubles, chain three, skip four, one, two, three, four, single into the next, chain three, skip four, double V into the next. And we're just going to keep repeating this pattern until we get back around to our starting point. So one, two, three, four. So it's not too hard. So I'm just going to continue repeating this until I make it to the end of round two. Alrighty come to the end of round two. So I did a double V, I chained three, I skipped four, and then I single crocheted in the next. And you should have four stitches that remain. You want to go ahead and chain three, skip those four stitches, and we're going to end the round by slip stitching into our first double crochet of our first V. And following me, you should have a total of eight of those double V stitches now at the end of round two. Like that. Okay, now we're gonna start round three. Now round three starts the repeat for the cowl. Rounds three, four, five, and six are the repeat rows, rounds. So it's a four round repeat. So we're gonna go ahead and start off. We are going to slip stitch two times until we get to the middle of this double V. And then we will chain one, and we're gonna work a double V in the chain space of this double V. So we're gonna go right through the chain space and we're gonna work two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. You'll start to notice after a while, our double V stitches always line up the entire pattern. Line up like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to do a chain of three again. 
one, two, three. And we're gonna skip this chain three space here and we're gonna single crochet into the top of this single crochet. Just like this. And then we are going to do a chain of three. One, two, three. And we're gonna double V-stitch into the chain two space of this double V-stitch. And that's kind of what we're gonna repeat all the way around. It's not hard, is it? Actually pretty, pretty easy. It looks more confusing than it is like that. And now we're going to repeat. So we're gonna do a chain of three again. One, two, three. Skip this chain space here. We're gonna single crochet right here into the top of this single crochet. And then, and then we're going to chain three again and double V stitch into the chain space of this double V stitch. So two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. And we're gonna repeat, chain three, and skip this chain space, single crochet into the top of that single crochet right here. Chain three again. And we're skipping this chain space and double V stitching into the chain space of the next double V. So I'm going to repeat this pattern for the rest of the row, row three here, or round three, until I get back to my starting point. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three. I did my last single crochet and the last single crochet and there's just one chain space. What we're gonna do is chain three and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet of our first double V. And you should have eight double V stitches still. Just like that what it kind of looks like now row four is probably the most difficult row or round of the whole um, cow but it's not even really that difficult you'll be able to do it so we're going to start off by slip stitching two times to the middle of our first double V stitch and we're going to chain one and we're going to work a double V stitch into that chain space so we'll work our two doubles, a chain of two, and two more doubles. Okay, so now we are going to work a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we are going to single crochet into the next single crochet. So right down here, we're gonna go ahead and single crochet into that. Now we're gonna work across this chain of five that we just made. So we're gonna do a chain of one and turn our work. Now that chain one that we just did does not count as a stitch. So we are going to put a double crochet right back into that single crochet that we just made. And then we're gonna put one double crochet in each of these five chains that we just made. So go right into each of them, but there's five of them, and put a double crochet. So counting that first double crochet that we put into the single crochet, plus the five on the chain, we're gonna have six double crochets here. like that so there's the first one that we put into the single crochet and then there's the next five that I put one in each of the chain five spaces for a total of six now we're going to chain one and turn our work back around to the front and we're going to put a double crochet in every stitch again so right back into this very first double crochet we work a double and then a double across the remaining stitches. And 
So you'll have a total of six double crochets again. So that's what it kind of looks like. And then what we're going to do is we are just going to go directly to our next double v-stitch and work a double v-stitch in it. We're not going to chain or anything. So just go right directly into it and we're going to work a double v-stitch. So two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. And that's what we're going to repeat. See, that was not hard, was it? You can do it. And it's cool looking too, I think. So let's continue. So we start again by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you do it loose enough though so you can go back into those stitches. Now we're going to single crochet down here into the single crochet from the previous row, just like we did before. Chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to work one double crochet right back into that single crochet that we just made. One double crochet. And then we're going to work one double crochet in each of the five chains that we just did we just made. One double crochet in each of the chain spaces. So those five and then the one that we put in the single crochet will have a total of six double crochets across here. like that and we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to put one double crochet in each of those six double crochets starting with this very very first one like that. Now we're going to jump directly to the next double V. No chains or anything. Just go directly into it and put a double V right into the chain space. So two doubles, chain two, two doubles. And that is what we're going to repeat all the way around for round four. I'm going to do it one more time for you what it's starting to look like. It's looking pretty dang cool. Okay, we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we are going to single crochet into this single crochet here from the previous row. And then we want to chain one and turn and put a double crochet into that single crochet that we just did. And then one double crochet in each of the five chain spaces that we just made. Mine tightened up, but that happens. Okay, so counting that first double crochet, we'll have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one and turn. Put one double crochet in each of those six double crochets, starting with this very first one. There's six. And then we jump directly to our next double V, which is right here, and double V stitch into it. And that's it. That's what we're going to do the whole time. You can do it. So let's just repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to our starting point.
All right, I'm coming to the end of round four. I just did my last uh, little box thing, whatever that is. Now I'm going to end by slip stitching into the first double crochet of my first double V stitch. That'll end round four. You'll still have your eight double V stitches, and now you'll have eight of these little boxes. I'm just going to call them boxes. We'll have eight of those. Okay, for uh, round five, we are going to slip stitch two times to our first chain two space, the middle of our first V. So there's one and two. We're going to chain one and we're going to work a double V stitch into that same chain space. So two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. Now we are going to work a chain of three and we are going to single crochet into the top of our first double over here. So this top row, the first double. So it's a single crochet right into the top of that, like that. And then we will chain three again. And then we are going to go to our next double V stitch and we're going to work a double V in that chain space. So two doubles, chain two, two doubles. And that's the repeat now for round five. Pretty simple. It kind of holds that in place there. So again, we are going to chain three. One, two, three. You want to loosely chain those. Three. And then we're going to single crochet into the very first double crochet at the top. Then we're going to chain three. And jump to our next double V. And we're going to double V into that chain space. And this is what we're going to repeat now for round five. Chain three. Single crochet into the top first double crochet of that box. Chain three. And double V stitch into the center of the next double V stitch. So I'm going to keep repeating this pattern for round five until I get back to my starting point. That is kind of what it's starting to look like. Pretty cool. All right, coming to end of round five. I single crochet into the first double crochet in my last square. I did a chain three. And now I'm going to end by slip stitching into the first double crochet of my first double V stitch. And you'll still have your eight double V stitches. Round six is the final round of the repeat. We are going to slip stitch two times to the middle of that first double V stitch. And we're going to go ahead and chain one and do our double V stitch into that, sp into that chain space. So two doubles. Chain two and two more doubles. And now we are going to do a chain of three. And we're going to put one single crochet into the top of this single crochet. Like that. Then we're going to chain three and then we're going to do a double v stitch into the middle of this double v stitch that's it that's all there is to this round chain three
single crochet into the top of this single crochet right here chain three and double V into the next double V again chain three single crochet into the top of this single crochet that's attached to this square chain three and double V into the next double V and I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around for round six That's what it looks like. Pretty, pretty neat. All right, I'm going to finish it up, and I'll meet you back around the starting point. All right, I'm coming to the end of round six. I did my single crochet that on top of that single crochet that was on top of this square here, the very last one. And then I chained three, and I'm going to end around six by slip stitching into my first double crochet and my first V. Eight V stitches total. That's it. Now we're going to repeat what we did, starting from round three. So we're going to repeat rounds three, four, five, and six until you get it the length that you want it to be. However why you want your cow to be, that's how many times you want to repeat. I think it looks pretty darn neat. So I just finished round six. I'm going to start round seven, which will be a repeat of round three. If you need to rewind me, go right ahead. But I'm going to keep repeating rounds three, four, five, and six until I get my cow as thick as I'd like it to be. And I'll let you know how many rows I do here in just one second. All right. Here is mine so far. Now, you can make yours taller if you want, by all means. Um, so I did a total of 13 rows, starting from our very first row one. So I ended mine on a not a complete uh, repeat of all the rows. I ended it on, um, we repeated rows three through six. I ended it on row a uh, row five repeat. So 13 rows total, that's what I did. To make it my size but by all means you can make it however big you want so now i'm going to go ahead and clip my yarn off get a good chuckle out of this <laughs> can only find my daughter's safety scissors hey whatever works though right <laughs> okay so now i'm going to flip it over and i'm going to go along the bottom and clean up that bottom edge now i do get asked a lot in my videos um, why when I do my starting chain I don't go through the back bump so I don't have to do this again now sometimes I do do that um, just it just depends really on the pattern that I'm doing most of the time though I like to go back and clean up the edge with another row of single crochet um, personally for me I feel that it looks better but you know to each their own so that's why I do that so just start anywhere along the bottom here here's our very first row of single crochet we did Here's our starting tail right here. So go in any stitch here along the bottom. Pull up a loop. And then we will go back. Well, find my tail here. Okay. We will chain one and then we're gonna go back into that same stitch there and single crochet. And now I'm gonna go across at the same time I'm gonna try to hide my tails. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch along the bottom. And that's going to clean up that bottom edge. So I'm going to work around on this finishing row, putting one single crochet and every stitch all the way around until I get back to my starting point. 
All right, I made it back to my starting point. You should have a total of 80 stitches because that's what we started with. But as long as it's somewhere in the vicinity of that, it'll be all right. Go ahead and slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made. And then we can tie that off. And then you want to hide and clip off any remaining tails that you have. All right, that's it. Once you get all your tails hidden, it's done. I think it's really cool. I like it. I like the yarn. I like the stitch. Um, definitely nice, lightweight uh, dress-up cowl, you know, for a night on the town. Um, for those uh, warmer, yet still cool uh, nights that are, you know, spring, early spring, late winter. Very pretty. That's, that's pretty. So, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you were able to follow along. I bet you were. Now remember, if you make this, I'd really, really love to see a picture of it. You can show me on my Facebook page, or you can show me on Instagram. Um, there's a links to both of those below in the description box. I'd love to have you join both of my, of my pages. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. Lots of tutorials for you to check out. Lots of yarn talk. I love to talk yarn. So, that's it. Everybody, have a good night. Thanks.